Welcome back to another episode of Blue Rescue Team. Um, picking up where he left off. Rrr, it's cold. Achoo! Yuck. My nose is running and it's freezing. Isn't this one lonely place? Let's see how deep the snow is. I haven't seen another Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Huh? What's the matter? What's that? What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. There's nobody there. Do you usually have problems with this Charmander? Or are you schizophrenic or something? Guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Ooh. Evan, look. See that? Those trees are frozen. Wow, snow is like frozen powder. Looks pretty, but must be harsh there. Don't you know it. <laughs> we do have something in store for us. Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to go through this place. It will be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. Well, as far as you know, we don't have to, but... I guess, spoiler alert, we do. And I'm using spoiler alert figuratively, I'm assuming, you know, you, you should... Probably be able to infer that. I'm saying he can't infer that in the universe of the game. Now, we have a little, uh, thing we can do, which we, I don't want to pack too heavily for. I am indeed ready. Let's go to Snow Path. Okay, let's go. This is, uh, just like the Rock Path. It's optional, just uh, done for grinding. I could foresee a player being, uh, relatively, uh, in need of items, though. At this point, like if you're, especially if you're kind of a newer one, you might uh, probably waste a lot of it. So this would be a good place to do so. Just uh, don't pack too heavily. Oh no, I took one damage. See if there are any items here. Um, there's uh, a lot of apples. Weird, weird, the, uh, weird they can grow here in this place, but... Now, if you notice that my mic is not... Uh, it's kind of inconsistent. Although, this thing has quick attack, so do be careful. See? Told you. And there we go. It's running away. Now, if you noticed uh, somewhat inconsistency in my mic quality, like last time... For some reason, the uh, Aver Media software that I'm using was... I tested out my previous mic with Audacity, and then... For some reason, when I recorded it with Aver Media, it ended up being significantly worse than with Audacity. So I don't know what's going on there, but... Um, now I'm using my webcam mic. I'm gonna get, like... If I do this, you know, consistently, I'll obviously invest in, like, an actual microphone. You know, like a Blue Yeti or a Snowball or something like that. But uh, as it stands, you know... Working with what I can... Brit is cute, by the way. Um, we don't see much of it these days, in general. Also, I better uh, select a Metal Claw on Char Char. These nose pass have a uh, rock slide, so do be careful with the fire type like this, like what I have. But yeah, there are some, even though I haven't seen any, there are some orange berries here if you're starting to get, like, uh, you know, low on them. So, oh boy! It is using another multi-hit, you know, move, and those, those are really bad. And, it, like, those are really effective, is what I mean, in this game. Like, much more so than in the main series, and I will. I'm low on health, so I will be, uh... Oh god, look at his, hold on, it, his face was just the most hilarious look on his face when he was facing uh, forward there, when he was immobilized. Like, holy, holy, wow. And not much else here, so. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's hope Thunder Wave hits, because if not, I'm, ah! Oh god, oh god, okay.
Okay, good. This is the last floor, I think. What the? Isn't this where we started from? Guess that path we took could just lose back to where it started. Looks like we have to get through Frosty Forest to move on. Evan, let's do our best. Okay, that was a, not a good uh, scared impression. Um, so apples, we'll need a few of those, probably. Uh, what else should we take? Let's take some more orange berries. Probably need like a few at least. Um, we're getting up to another... The difficulty spikes have been somewhat frequent, but thankfully we're about to... This After this next one, it'll subside. Like, we're not going to see uh, too many more difficulty spikes, so... I'm going to somewhat start wasting my resources, but, you know, not a whole lot. Um, these orbs. Hmm. Not I didn't find as many TMs as I thought I would, because the last two dungeons I've had... Uh, they tend to have not, not a bad amount of them. Um... Don't really see much use in those. Maybe just want a skateboard, just out of known case. But, beyond that, let's save. Evan, are you ready? Which way should we go? Let's go in Frosty Forest now. Okay, let's go. It's gonna be freezing cold, but let's try our best. So yeah, if you can't tell from my tech- Ooh, Kecleon Shop! Okay, we can show off a thing. Actually, you know what? Since this is the start of a dungeon, let's... Hi, welcome. Um, we can uh, get it. So this does exactly what you think he does. He uh, sells you some items. You have to show some his 300 poke. Is that acceptable? Thank you very much. Forward to serving you again. Eh, let's just get this. And Oh, I forgot to pay him. Ah, sure. Now, let's try ingesting it. Oh, he just charges you for it. Well, let's do another thing. Let's uh, throw it. Okay, he doesn't... Well, what I'm trying to do is if you say no... Hey, help Thief and Rob, help me catch the thief. Okay, <laughs> you get to knock out Kecleon. Ooh, one damage. What, you were asking? Is, is that is that for real? Is he, is he you know, is he serious? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you are, um, <laughs> you are kind of, uh, up shit creek without a paddle with this guy. Um, do I have another chance to, yeah, it's gonna miss, and even though it doesn't, it does one damage. Oh well, um, let's move back a bit. Oh yeah, he's got, uh, you know, more moves than I do. Let's try using double team. Yeah, you're not winning against him. He's, like, around the level 90s, at least. So, yeah, fun, fun fact. Uh, hope you have a nice sleep, you two. Ouch. Couldn't break through. This is as tough as we expected. <laughs> but let's keep trying our best to get through this, Evan. Yeah, if you haven't... It's pretty infamous if you've never heard of... Actually go through the dungeon. Which way should we go? Frosty Forest. Okay, let's go. It's gonna be freezing cold. Let's try our best. Alright, so once again, the, the dungeon itself is not all that bad, but, uh, you know, a certain thing is, uh, there's a certain thing here that can happen. So now we're seeing water. Um, normally, I believe that, uh, you know, water types can, uh, traverse water safely, and, uh, if you have a levitate or, you know, a flyer on your team, then, uh, you will be good. Ooh, maybe I want to buy his, uh, you know, band. Ah, eh, maybe I'll get it. Let's see what this is. Another power band. I'm going to pass. Blowback orb is just, uh, like, roar. Sends you back. And a lob orb. What is this again? Looks two down to the target up to two tiles away. Nah. Dang, I'm getting lucky with these, once again, with these uh, stairs, but um, actually I'm going to get out of the way, because of course I don't have a type advantage against this guy, but my friend here does. Actually, that, that will, Metal Claw also works, technically. Hey, another level up. 
Yay, I leveled up. The tail on my uh, flame is burning stronger. Or whatever he usually says. Orange gummy? Or brown gummy, I mean. I think that's a ground types, then. Ooh, a cutscene. Someone has intruded upon the forest. And I bet you're talking about us. You're not going to talk about those other enemies in here who've been randomly attacking us. The enfeebled flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. Must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Yeah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be the Kecleon either, just setting up shop on uh I presume it's your property. Anyway, what I'm saying is usually water is, you know, traversable by uh, water types, but I'm not sure if this water is perhaps a bit I wanna think that like it being, you know, in a cold place it might have so things telling me like, like like maybe you'll get frozen or something or take damage if you go through it as water type, but maybe ice types can go through it. But that's my guess. Of for some reason, um, I'd have to look it up just to verify. Indiana. For a second there, I thought it was like a bag on, just like the way that the sprite you know kind of looked. All right, we don't have a very good. Huh. Charmander does not have a type advantage against you, uh, Laron, so... Let's hope we don't have to do too much. Oh wait, sorry, he does have a type of... <laughs> he's, I was thinking the rock, but he's also a steel type. Holy wow, I am not, uh, not thinking well today. Then a Petcha Berry, don't know why we would need that here, but, uh... Oh, well, maybe for a future dungeon. Alright, dead end. And Dead Ditto's using Transform, so, uh, if you didn't notice, we are, um... We might, uh, we, ju we just might see a Ditto around here. Hey, you're, uh, going away from us, even though you're getting hit by a rock. You, you'd think you'd, uh, you know, go to the source of that commotion, but, um, seems like a no. Alright, down here, nope. But yeah, Ditto transforms into a random floor Pokemon, so... Um... Ooh, hey, we're already at the waypoint. Definitely saving. Alright, so we're uh, now at the second half of uh, the Frosty Forest. The Frosty Grotto, in this case. Let's move away a little bit from this Matang. Not too much. Ooh, there's a Rhyhorn in this place directing the uh, electric attacks. That's... Uh, Always so great when that happens. But uh, we only have a few more floors left. Well, a few. It's four, to be exact. But hey, I guess I guess if you don't include this one, I'm, I'm being accurate. Alright, you have metal. Oh, well, then again, Ember is the only move that can hit from... You know, across the uh, area you are. You might not think a fire type move would be a good idea, but it doesn't have the best special defense in the world, so. Compared to what else I have, it's not, you know. not horrible. Oh boy, this is, uh. not good. Now, this is snow, it's not hail. Um. Hail, of course, that, uh, you know, prevents you from passively recovering your health, of course. Oh, yeah! Oh, I keep forgetting. Keep forgetting it has, there's a, well, not not forgetting, but I guess I should have guessed that there would be uh, something with Lightning Rod nearby. Because, yeah, I wouldn't be able to passively recover my health uh, if it was hailing. Of course, deals damage to you, as you probably know. Always misses. What? How did... Oh, yeah, I guess he took a lot of damage from that uh, Matang. I probably shouldn't have left that Gravel Rock behind, because I, I keep forgetting they uh, get to... Um, 
they they have the capability of you know throwing stuff at you if you don't. So what we have coming up here is a rather uh, infamous. Um, it's uh, it's known for being difficult. I'll say what we're uh, coming up to at the end. If you uh, have any you know uh, pattern recognition skills, you can probably tell what's coming up. And also, we shouldn't be wasting your PP too much. Um, Ooh, I'm out of, uh, you know, things. Out of rocks. Well, maybe that or, or the inventory just doesn't, uh, you know, just isn't acting like it should. Because sometimes it, uh, shuffles around your, uh... Sometimes it shuffles around the items uh, a bit. Like, like it'll, it'll divide up. When it should be picking up two gravel rocks, it divides it up. Anyway, I can foresee myself fainting to this thing. Good thing it kept missing. That was bad luck. Alright. Are you full health? Because I think we're up to that certain thing. Oh, no, not yet. Because uh, this this next part after this floor is the consistently the most consistently difficult thing you come across in pretty much every possible run of this game. Oh god, I think I'm neglecting his health bar too much. This is a clear gummy, I think? I think that's a... Uh, whatcha call it? Uh, you know, um, um... Steel types. <laughs> that's what you call it. <laughs> Not much I can do here. Well, I can do this. Yeah, Rhyhorn's kind of annoying in this area. Not a lot of ice types, so I guess, you know, having Charmander here isn't that much of a help. How much PP do I have? I can take out this guy. Because we need to... He needs health recovery. I'm... Oh, but that's not good. Well, if he, if he takes any significant damage from that, I guess I'll have thrown the baby out with the bathwater. You know what, let's just use an orange berry. Um, do I have a lot of orange berries? Ah, whatever. Screw it. I am uh, not caring much at this point. We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. Shouldn't be far, let's keep going. Huh? Evan, did you just say something? I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I uh, must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. Who's there? You're forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Acts too bright. The eyes around us is reflecting light. I am Articuno, the warder of ice. Those enter the forest I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin. Okay, let's, uh... See, now the other ones had a powerful, you know, relatively powerful special attack. Um, this one, same deal, except that p particular special attack is a, uh multi-screen, it's a screen-clearing move. It hits a lot of uh, people at once. 
Um, let's keep you with uh, that combo. Oh, I should be paralyzing you again. Yeah, I'm so smart. Missed. Mm. But does it protect you from paralysis? Nope, that's only stat decreases. Slash increases. Alright, let's hope my, uh, you know, special band does a lot. Both of our stabs are uh, super effective against you, so I'm hoping... Even, even looking looking at this, like, see how long it's taking, even though we're both... Both of our special, you know, our, our stabs are, like, super effective against them. It's, it's nuts. And we lost, we, we lost a Reviver Seed. And if it uses Powder Snow, I can tell you from experience that we are both dead, if that happens. I'm gonna... I don't care if they're almost out of PP, that's uh, relatively inconsequential at this point, yes! Oh man, that's good. Please, Articuno, we have to get through no matter what it takes. Also, she ended my, please let us pass. No, cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest's air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. W warmed up? I'm still freezing, but... Flow of frigid air has been disturbed in this forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. This is not your doing? We don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, hear me out. It's not our fault that the snow started melting here. It's not just here. Natural climates are taking place everywhere right now. The forest frigid air flow would have even been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Ah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. You're gonna kill us? <laughs> Absol! There's nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is, is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine, I'll let you believe you. You may pass. Articuno! However, what? You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Ooh, that was too close. Thank you, you saved us. Other than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. They're left unchecked where worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will, really? Really? To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. <laughs> Thank you, Absol. Absol joined the team. You have a nickname? No, you're you're an important character. You, you don't. It'd be it'd be it feel uh you know sacrilegious to do that. Headed further north. They more the more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. I will say thank you. So despite the fact that uh, Mount Thunder had Zapdos and Mount Blaze had Moltres, uh, Mount F Mount Freeze does not have Articuno, it has Frosty Force. The, Mount the Icy Mountain Path seems to just go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Charmander looks exhausted, too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Brr, this is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, Evan, I was thinking. I think we've come to a place that's empty except for us. I have this feeling there's mo no nothing ahead of here, even if we keep moving. I'm getting exhausted. We too. It's gonna happen to us. Let's see what he says differently. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Sure, that's right. There isn't any point in worrying about what might happen. Not after coming this far. Sorry, Evan. I was just feeling sorry for myself. I have faith in you, Evan. That's what brought me here. That's not changing. I still have faith that I will change the decision to I don't know. 
I'm sorry. I said something stupid to frighten you. If there's any point in worrying about what, wondering about what might happen, not for coming this far. You don't know what's ahead. You only know by pressing on. Don't worry. There's got to be something ahead. I have faith in you, Evan. That's what brought me here. And that's not changing. I still have faith in you, Evan. I'll keep going wherever you go. Yes, Charmander trusts me without any doubt. Can't afford to be indecisive. Have to believe in myself more. What? What, what was that? The dizzy? Or what? Huh? Is this something wrong, Evan? Oh, you have the dimensional scream now, really? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone. Someone's talking to me. Charmander? No, this voice isn't Charmander. That's vo this voice. I've heard it somewhere. Finally, you have arrived. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir! I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. You're... what? Evan is something the matter. Why are you talking to yourself? I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little further ahead. There's a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Invis inside its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales! Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. What? What? Wait. Hey, Evan! Evan! What's the matter? What happened? Oh, so something like that happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. And that's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed, though. Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Ninetales is up the, at this peak. <laughs> Evan! All the effort we put into getting here, it's finally going to bear fruit. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicions others have about you, Evan. Awesome! Listen, Evan. Don't be so worried. It will be alright. It's only natural that you would be scared of meeting Ninetales, Evan. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. It may be you. I can understand how you could think that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. How can you say that, hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts. But now, I wonder why. I really don't know why. It's alright. Evan, you are really a good sort for changing. You believe so much in me? Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now... I wonder why, I really don't know why, but it's alright. Evan, you're a really good sort. You really know before? When I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Evan. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. It is strange, isn't it? But Evan, I believe in you. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Evan, let's do our best. Yay, another save uh, point here. Um... And the next time, we'll be going up into this peak area. And yeah, again, snow path, same, pr pretty sure same exact place. Let's just take a look. Yeah, um, it's looking like the same exact place. Oh wow, Splash does something in this game. I'm assuming that's the reason why it bounced backwards for there, a second there. I mean, it would make sense. The Japanese version of that move is hop, so... Yep, it is the, the, the same place. What the? Isn't this where we started from? I guess that path we took just loops back to where it started. Looks like we have to get over to Mount Freeze to move on. Evan, let's do our best. Anyway, now I'm really going to end the episode, so see ya.